Thank you very much, Colonel Setting. Our next speaker is Harpreet Singh Moka. He is from the Department of Justice. Uh, he will probably be able to speak much more about community relations with the federal government. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. How are you today? Good? Good, good. Well, I'm, uh, as uh, Dr. Khan said, I'm Harpreet Singh Moka, and I serve as the regional director for the Mid-Atlantic Region for the Community Relations Service. We are one of 59 components within the Department of Justice. Uh, we do not investigate, we do not prosecute. We are the professional mediators for the Department of Justice and the federal government. We basically are jurisdiction or the, the reason for our work is where there's discrimination based on race, color, and national origin, we come and provide four basic services. We provide mediations, we provide conciliations, which is a less formal type of mediation. We provide best practices and we provide training and consulting as well. Our jurisdiction has evolved uh, since the Hate Crime Passage Act of 2009 to include religion, uh, gender orientation, um, gender and sexual orientation as well. Um, so we have a lot on our plate and I oversee the District of Columbia, Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia, Delaware and Pennsylvania. So um, I'm running around up and down uh, I-95 and trying to address various communities. Um, I also serve as the subject matter expert within our agency on air Muslim and Sikh issues. So, uh, this, these issues are near and dear to me and I'm, I follow them nationally as well as within my region. And um, so I have a lot to say, but what I want to uh, express and highlight is that in after 9-11, um, the Community Relations Service sat down with Arab and Muslim leaders and came together and created an Arab and Muslim and Sikh training. And the, what we do is we partner up with subgematic experts meaning Arab in the Muslim community, and we conduct this 101 program. And that's been very successful after that program. It's a PowerPoint presentation. We do a facilitated dialogue where we have questions and answers. And that's a very, very uh, impressive uh, way to educate and inform people. Uh, we've also created this DVD called uh, First Three to Five Seconds. Uh, three to five seconds, and they should be outside as well. It's a 15-minute DVD. It's a relatively one-on-one uh, -on -one overview about the Arab and Muslim culture. It's great to pass to your teachers, to your friends. We do it at, we've passed it out and used it at roll call for different police departments. It's a very good tool to provide an introduction to the Arab and Muslim culture, and I encourage you to use this. Um, being from uh, these communities, uh, we see, uh, we, we're seeing a rise. Uh, the Washington Post has said uh, the other day that anti-hate crimes against Muslims are five times more likely than 9-11. Uh, so, and then with the recent events, uh, it's not helping the matter. And unfortunately, um, the country is ignorant on who Muslims are, or better yet, they don't even know Muslims. And there's a famous theory out there called contact theory. And I wanted to go into that just a little bit in that <clears throat> within the contact theory, it is that if you don't know something, you have a perception and a belief about it. But when you get to know your neighbor who's, who let's say his name is Muhammad, and his son plays soccer, and plays soccer with your son, you know, you see he goes to work, you go to work, you see them every day as your neighbor, he mows his yard, you mow your yard, you take your son to soccer practice, you see him there, you start talking to him. Then you get to know Muhammad. And once you get to know Muhammad, your perceptions and beliefs start changing about who Muslims are, what they think about, and what they, what they stand for. Now, I have to tell you, there's a lot of confusion in this country about who Muslims are. You already know that. Um, but I am uh, equally um, satisfied that at least you guys have taken this initiative. And you've done a great job in introducing and getting to know the county executive and Colonel Setting. I mean, this is uh, half my job's done. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, I mean, I look around in the audience and I, I see majority of people from uh, the community here. And what I want to stress to you is that we have to get out of 
discomfort zones. You have to get involved, not only in your political process, but you have to get involved in everyday society here. You cannot just go to your uh, religious functions and eat good snacks and everything else. I know that's great. You want to talk to your people. You want to talk your own language. You want to talk. You want to be, you know, that's the time that, hey, you get to reconnect with people. But you have to get involved with the American lifestyle. You have to get involved. You have to go to your PTA meetings. And I'm just saying that from, that's my personal uh, Harpreet Singh Mocha belief, not the DOJ one. But for you to effectively get to know your neighbor and for him to get to know you, that's what's it going to take. And ideally, you need to do these kind of functions where you're not preaching to the choir. Many of you know what the problems are. You are practicing Muslims. I mean, you deal with these things 24-7. What we need to do is we need to bring our neighbors here. And there are a few of our neighbors here, but we need more of them. We need to create more programs where it's targeted toward or directed towards uh, youth um, and people with a different uh, lens on things and that don't know uh, about who you are. And so I think that's where uh, the discussion should, should go. Uh, I have these challenges with my own community. Unfortunately, being a practicing Sikh, uh, we get clobbered in the same thing when there are these rise of uh, anti-Islamic or anti-Muslim or the Islamophobia gets in a rise and people just confuse. They see a gentleman with a turban and a beard and oh God, you know, and then they see my government plate and they're like, what's going on here? What's happening? And <clears throat> I kind of get, you know, that's kind of funny for me. But, uh, and I tell them, no, hey, I was born and brought, brought up in Texas. I'm more, I mean, I got more in common with apple pie than chicken curry any day of the week. But, uh, <clears throat> but again, that's perceptions. If you look at me without talking to me, you would think that just the way I look, I'm from a different land, I have a different thinking. I mean, none of you would think or have an ideal, except I think I told Colonel Setting that I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan. So, you know, I get, yeah, some of you are all and eating it. But hey, it goes a long way in breaking the ice. Sometimes it doesn't break the ice, but at least it gets to the point that, hey, I have a big interest in this. But uh, you get to know more about me, and then all of a sudden your perceptions for the good or bad change discount the cowboy part. Uh, but uh, for the most part, these are the things you, you as individuals need to start doing as well. Not that you all need to become cowboy fans, but I encourage it. They're a good team, or they will be. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, not this season, but ne and maybe next. But anyways, um, what I, what I want to say in my uh, conclusion is that now is the time for you as community leaders to engage more. And how do you engage? You engage with a plan. And the Community Relations Service will help you create that plan of how to engage with law enforcement. There are multiple issues that we're looking at. We're looking at school bullying. We're looking at hate crimes. We're looking at vandalism of our mosques, vandalism of our homes. We need to learn how to safeguard our homes. And we, know we need to learn how to report, too. Uh, <clears throat> statistics show that uh, the Jewish community reports the highest number of uh, hate crimes, and they, they suffer the most hate crimes. But the other communities, whether it be Arab, Muslim, and Sikh, they suffer quite a bit too. And the problem that we see, and that I particularly see, is the amount of underreporting. Oh, well, let it go. Oh, that happened. Well, no, you have to start reporting. And then you have to start getting to know uh, your local law enforcement officials as well. It's great that your leaders and Dr. Khan has a great relationship with the panel and everything else like that, but what are you gonna do when you're a victim of hate crime? Are you gonna call Dr. Khan? Maybe he's on, you know, in traveling on sabbatical or something like that, then what are you gonna do? So I encourage you, and I, Dr. Khan's a great man and everything, and a great resource, but I encourage you, get to know your representatives on a one-on-one -on -one basis so you can be empowered and then you can report things and you can actually make this a better country for not only yourself and your kids as well. So with that I'll end and then we'll open it up for discussion. I'll give it back to Dr. Khan who's a great guest. <laughs> Thank you.